just coughing people. Uh Barry Gibbs. He's he's definitely in my top three or four of the Gibb brothers. But sadly he's the only one left. Barry Gibb. Now he didn't always sing falsetto. Morris did the falsetto at the beginning. Now Morris was married to Lulu. I said at the time, this isn't gonna go well, Morris. Marrying Lulu, yeah, she's lovely, very nice. You're not well suited. You're not you know, you're not marriage material. And it didn't last. But uh, they stayed friends. I made sure they stayed friends. I was, uh, you know, instrumental in keeping the ball afloat. Incidentally, Lulu, I think, had a bit of a thing with Jason Orange from Take That. One of my favourite members of Take That. I remember saying to Gary Barlow, I said, hey Gary, that Jason's a talented one, you know. If, you know, if you weren't in charge of the rights of the name, if you had sort of like got that got the manager in the headlock and got him to sign over the right to take that to your to you. Jason Orange, he'd have been the man. He'd have been the man. He wouldn't have been running that shop in Cornwall now. He'd have been wipes, tinsel, all sorts of stuff for Jason Orange. Anyway, what was Barry Gibb, Barry Gibb. Now, so Barry Gibb wasn't always the falsetto. And that I said to him, I said, Barry, that is a tragedy that you're not the falsetto. But the problem was, Morris loved doing it. <laughs> that sort of thing. So I, it's it's funny this how it works out. One day, I I was actually singing. My my lovely falsetto tones were coming out through my throat, and I had a big beard. I had a mane of hair. I looked like a lion. I had my chest hair out. It was like a golden sequin safari suit. I looked at the absolute bee's knees, the bee's knees, the cat's whiskers. I looked at the dog's, whatever the dog's sort of like, what, what would that be? Bee's knees, cat's whiskers, dogs. Anyway, so I, I looked superb. And so I strolled into um, the recording studio where I was actually doing guide vocals for Barry because he was struggling at the time and he asked for my help and uh, the Bee Gees were faltering it was about um, nights on Broadway era so 75 maybe 74 75 and uh, they were they were down on their knees they just they, uh, they hadn't had a hit for years and years and years I think it was about like 1938 you know since they had a hit so I said you've got to have a hit and I went in there and I said, look, you can, you can, I shall sing you the guide vocals for this song. And you can even say it's you, I don't care. You can put it on the, the official record. Now, I'm not saying that I'm the one who did the falsetto on all the Bee Gees records, because I'm not. I may have done it on some of them, but I didn't do it on all of them. But they did leave me in on some of them. So I said to Barry, and I, I did a pitch perfect vocals, and you should have seen Barry's jaw drop it, it was like like that time that um uh, what was his name attacked that man with a tin of beans uh, anyway it was like that it was like the biggest thing that had ever happened it was huge and barry gibbs came over to me and he said what was that that just came out of your mouth and <laughs> I, I could have said a joke but I did, i'm not one to joke i don't really tell jokes I, I just looked at him and I said, well, that's my voice. That That's just my falsetto. I mean, I could, I've got a six octave range. I, you know, I said I've taught Roy Orbison how to sing. I've taught Elvis how to sing. I invented the Everly Brothers, not even real brothers, all that sort of thing. And uh, he was like, wow. He said, I'm gobsmacked. And I said, well, listen, Barry. I said, you're carrying this, you know. I couldn't see the future, but I said, you're probably like going to be the only one who's, you know, there after all this has happened. You're, you're like the main thing, Barry. And he looked at me and he, he had short hair. He was pigeon chested. He had an old boiler suit on. And he saw me with my big lion mane, my beard and my chest hair. And he, he saw it all. And he didn't say anything. 
he just looked and he took it all in. And the next thing I know, he'd stolen it all. He, he took it all. And he invented John Travolta. John Travolta is the only person I didn't invent. <laughs> he invented... Barry Gibbs invented John Travolta. Could you believe it? It's, it's, it's mad! It's mad to think, to think! It's crazy! What was that that just came out of your mouth?